On here, I'm going to show you how to make the desk tidy. We're going to make each part individually and then assemble them all together. So you need to start by saying File, New, and we're going to make a part. We're going to start by making the taller half lap joint box. So uh, to begin any sketch, we need to choose something, a plane, to draw onto. Um, and we're going to choose the front plane because that's the direction we want to draw the box from. So if we choose front plane, you're then going to go to sketch. You can choose the rectangular tool. You're going to draw a rectangle and you're going to put in the smart dimensions of 60. Enter and 120. We're then going to extrude that 9 mil. So 9, enter, and then you can tick that. So we have an extruded rectangle. What we need to do now is we need to put in the housing joint. And you need to remember to choose a side in order to draw a sketch onto. So we're going to draw the edge. We're going to choose the edge. Press spacebar. And then we can press this side because it's where we want to draw. I can then zoom in with my cursor to the bottom. I can go to sketch. I can get a rectangle. And I can draw the rectangle on. We then need to make it the right size. So we'll get smart dimension. It's going to go 4.5. Four point five across. It's going to be six mil thick, and we're going to make sure it's ten mil from the bottom. So you need to click that line, then come down. Also click the bottom line, bring that out. And you're going to change that to ten. Enter. Um, I then want to cut that out, so I'm going to go to features, extrude cut. And I'm going to change it from blind to through all. Then I can tick, and that should cut out a housing joint in the bottom there. What I want to do next is I need to put in the two half lap joints either side of my part. So I'm going to click on the top edge here because that's the edge I want to draw on. So I'm going to click on the edge, press spacebar choose this side and I just want to really quickly make sure that I'm on the same side as the half lap, the housing joint. So on here I'm going to choose the rectangle tool. I'm going to, when I go over the corner, can you see the orange dot comes up? I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to make that 9mm across because that's the thickness of the material. And I'm going to go halfway across here, which will be 4.5, which it already is. Um, what I want to do now is I want that exact same drawing mirrored onto the other side. So if I click down from the line tool, I can choose center line, which will mean I can draw on my drawing, on my sketch, without it reading it as a line. It can just help me draw. You can see here I've got now an extra, I've got a line that I want to get rid of, so I can press escape to get out of that. So now I've got my box and I've got a line to mirror that on. So I can go to mirror entity. I can choose the rectangle. I can and go over here and click mirror about. And I want to mirror it about that line. Then I can tick. And it's now over. I now want to cut both of these all the way through. So I'm going to go to features, extrude cut, change blind, to through all and tick. If I now turn that round, you can see I've got my housing joint and I've got my two half laps on both sides. I now want to save that, save as, I'm going to make a folder called desk tidy. And I'm going to save that as half lap one save. 
I can then go to File, New, and I'm going to make the other part. So again, I'm going to choose Part. I'm going to choose the front plane again. Press Spacebar. And I'm going to sketch a rectangle this time. Uh, this time it's going to be 9 mil shorter. So this one is going to be 51. Enter. This one is going to be 120 again. And then we're going to extrude it 9 mil. So again, features, extrude, change that to 9, enter, and tick. Right, so I've now got the other side. I now just need to put my housing joint in. So just like before, we're going to choose this edge, space bar, zoom into the bottom, sketch, rectangle, same dimensions as before, so this was 4.5, enter, this one is 6, enter, and this, these two, between these two, is 10 mil, enter. I can then go to Features and Extrude Cut, and again, change that to Through All, and Tick. I now have the other side, which I can File, Save As, R, Lab, 2, Save. I now need to make the base. So again, File, New, Part, and this one should be quite simple. I'm going to choose the top plane this time because it's obviously the base of the, the pot. Base bar, choose the top plane, sketch, draw a square, and I can change both of these dimensions to 51 so that it fits inside my housing joint. I then go Features, Extrude, and I want to extrude it by 6, Enter, Tick. I've now got all three parts made. Um, I'm going to make sure I save my base. I then want to assemble them, so I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to choose Assembly this time. So it's giving me these options here on the left hand side to which ones to bring in. If your parts aren't appearing there and you've maybe made one a different day, uh, they will only appear there if the part is open on the computer. So if it's not appearing there, you may want to go to Browse and open it somewhere else. Um, I would always advise that you start with the base of anything, the kind of centre of any design that you've done, um, and it will just make your assembly much easier. So we can start with the base and just bring in um, one component at a time and you can then make it fit. So insert components again and I'm going to bring in half lap one and um, put it in my drawing. So you can see now this is more or less facing the right way and I'm going to mate some of these together. Um, mate is the icon up here that looks like a paperclip. So if you choose the paperclip tool and what you want to do is choose two sides that you want to sit against each other. So if I choose that one there and that one there, I can then tick. And you can see that that is now sitting on that um, part. Um, you can see that it can easily be moved. So what else do we need to mate in order for it to sit better? Um, what I'm going to do is make the top. And this one here, which will then move them better, and that will actually then slide in there. 
um, and I'm going to leave that one for now whilst I bring in another one. So I can tick mate, go back to insert components, and I'm going to bring in half lap two, which as you can see is facing slightly the wrong way. You want to try and move your component about a little bit so that it's more or less facing the right way. Move component, rotate. which can always be quite tricky. Um, it's more or less facing the right way now, so I can go to mate. Uh, I've already got a side selected, so I'll cross off that. Mate, just like before, I can choose this one and this one and tick. You can see that empty is there and it's ready to, you can then mate it onto something else, this side and this one and tick um, and another one I'm going to do is this one here with this one and it will just bring those ones together and tick um, and you'll see that this one can still move out so if I do this one and this front edge and tick so now these parts are all joined together so I'm now going to put in the other two sides. I can take off mate, insert component. I'll go for half lap one. That will go here. I need to rotate that round. So I'll go down from the component, rotate component. It's quite difficult. If you're struggling to turn it round, if you choose a different angle, you can see it's easier to do certain things. That seems to be facing the right way, so I'll tick that. Um, I then choose the mate tool, and just like before, we'll mate all the edges that I need to mate. Oh, I've done that on the wrong side. So if you make a mistake, what you can do is go down from mates. And if you hover over these, you can see the mates that you've made. And I'm going to right click and delete those. Then I can move, rotate, and rotate it around. This way. Sorry about that. Now it's facing a better way, so I'm going to mate this top one, this one, tick, this one, this one, tick, this one. This one, tick, and then the last one will be this one and this one, and tick. And I've got three sides in. So I'm then going to tick off there, insert components, and bring in half lap two, which will go here. I then need to rotate the component. tick and I can make that last one. So I'm going to choose the top and that one, tick, this one needs to be with that one and tick and that should be done. So now I've got a complete half lap toolbox. I can then say file, oh, make sure you're off mate, so tick, file, save as.